morning everybody Wednesday morning 6 30 in the morning right now pouring just got a garage and a breezeway the city the city made this guy pour eight inches thick in his garage because they want to make sure the floor is higher than the road right here we had planned on a four inch floor then they came and inspected and it's like no you got to pour that eight inches thick to get it up above the road so that's we had to change the grade a little bit we'll get it this morning we had to order six extra yards of concrete just to get it up so it's gonna cost him a little more money to get this board today snapping the chalk line up, eight inches thick, eight, eight and a half, roughly. It's not going to take long to empty this first truck. Hi, how are you? Ah, I don't know who you're talking about. I think I'm all right. Another day, another 50 cents, buddy. I'll be right with you. Right. Care any day, any day. Oh, not like four guys standing around. Oh, and, and $130 piece, I understand that. <laughs> That hot water? Yeah. That'll be hot water to my water. <laughs> Got a hobby, go watch the wind. Hey, hey, sir. I'm gonna go stand right in front of the camera, you watch. This is a daring set right here. I just need to look at it. Go ahead. 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 I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. The city made him do it. He had to be above the road over here. So we had to raise it up another four inches. We're trying not to block the road if we can. Wow, well, I'm going to try pulling way over there on the side. I think there's enough room. I'll have to get him right where you are. I think Jordan. I can get over there. I wonder if I can wash out over there. Right Probably, yeah. If you're up, if you're up for, farther enough, right? Swing so they, on. so they can go around yeah. here. We'll try. It's not like it's your first rodeo. Well, no. Okay, no. hey, you guys be good. You can't be good at it.
Yeah, about, about an inch right there. Oh uh, yeah. A lot higher than the fire. Yeah. Be under the steps though. That's what I figured he probably had I'm going to go back your way. I don't know if we need a kicker on that board or not. Oh, we did. Okay, I couldn't see it. Harder to pour these thick ones. Yeah, it is, yeah. Tiny bit more there, maybe. Bring that chute over and get a little bit in there, probably. The loop. Turn it, come out. About a bucket, don't we? Oh, maybe not. Let's take the boot. Close. You want to do the two? No, go ahead. A little bit warmer right here.
Good. Just turn it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. He was rattling. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the floor, when you get done with that, is that going to be pretty smooth? I know you do a real good, I'm mean, seeing it online. I'm looking at just staining that floor in the breezeway. You know? Yeah. You want to put tile down or anything? Is that? Yeah, it'll be tiled smooth. Yeah. yeah it'll, be, it'll be smooth enough for a finished floor, yeah. Perfect. But really, I think it looks good when you do that. It's, it's, it's nice and shiny and then uh, yeah. stain it a little stain bit. Stain it, yeah. Yep. The kind of the story on this was the city came here and they were looking at the road right here and they wanted the slab higher than that. It was originally we were going to be four inches lower and they were worried about snow plow and rain runoff and all that so they made him, as you can see, they made him raise it up four inches so he's higher than this, you know. I, in the long run, it's probably a better thing. Obviously, you know, you don't want your garage floor lower where water's going to run into it. I, I'm not sure why that's the city's call. I guess maybe it's just an, maybe it's an ordinance they have. But, you know, it cost him an extra six, seven yards of concrete. But in the long run, like, again, like I said, in the long run, it's probably going to be a much better deal for him. So. That's why we had to pour it so thick. And it does slope two inches still. Um, just an extra twelve, thirteen hundred dollars worth of concrete he wasn't expecting. Yeah, I think that one is, yeah. Thank you. chilly too. You can tell by the boat float it, it's got kind of like the wind. The wind's affecting the evaporation on the surface a little bit just by not closing it up a little smoother which might you know be a good thing in the long run but um, you can just tell the wind how the wind affects the surface of the concrete when you boat float like that. It, you know that's that's a little bit rougher than normal so you got to make sure when you get on the power car you don't get on it too late or you'll be you'll be having to work quite a bit harder just to smooth that out. It's kind of that windy feeling to it, don't it? Yeah, Brian. Glad right, that ain't a stamp job or a pull deck or something, you know? Yeah. The grab was stupid. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so that's it on this one. We got, we'll leave Luke here to finish. He'll power trial start today. The rest of us are gonna go, we're gonna set up, a, finish setting up a pool deck. 
we got to work on the stamp concrete job. We got to saw it and clean it today that we did yesterday. So we're gonna head to a couple different towns for that, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.